video. So I've been tagged by Mel from uh, Melly Mel Shades. That is one bad mother. Shut your fucking mouth. No, but seriously, he's a cool dude. He does a lot for the Facebook uh, community, the uh, Richmond Shaving Group. So if you're not a member, I would highly suggest that you do join because there is literally a, a freaking giveaway like every single week and yours truly am currently hosting one. You're going to win freaking boat drinks set by Sterling. So I'm giving that away and there are many others as well. So once again, consider joining that group. So today's theme is budget week. So this is a tag video, so I will be tagging somebody after this. Like I said, budget week, boom. I'm gonna be going in with Cremo. I got this thing for $4.99, I believe. That's what it says right there, $4.99, TJ Maxx. Uh, obviously, it's not open for apparent reasons, but you know what? When it opens back up, I really suggest you going to TJ Maxx and picking up a few things. You can find some high quality shit there for a fraction of the cost. So yeah, Cremo, unscented. I'll be going in with the aftershave Perazzo Red, which I've never used. It's just been under my sink, collecting dust, honestly. So I'm going to show this thing some love today. And the uh, this little dude. Look how cute that is. Gillette uh, Tech, I think it's called. I'm not really into um, classic razors, but... I had to pick this up. This is beautiful. And it's loaded with a 7 o'clock blade. And for my brush, oh, I got that razor for about 12 bucks on eBay. So, eBay, sometimes you can get lucky, man. As well as, ooh, this brush. I believe this is IMCDB's favorite synthetic brush. Don't quote me on that, but I, I believe so. All right, it's a really good brush. I bought this one for $13 on sale. Hell of a deal. Can't get any better with, than that. Um, also, for my scent of the day, Old Spice. I love this. It, it's, it's cheap, but it, it smells fantastic. Me... Boom. All right, let's get into the shade. All right, let's load this thing. And actually, I've never used this. And oh shit, you know what? It still has the foil. My bad, guys. Let me take that stuff off. This could be hard. Okay, there we go. Let me put this cap back on and get into the damn shave. So, yeah, this kind of been collecting dust. Sorry. Oh, let's see. That was probably too much, but hey. We don't mess around here in this channel. Whoops. Maybe a little water. Some water on the face. Let's get into the damn shave. Oh, feels good. So let's see what kind of lather I'll get from this. Since I've never used it, I have no experience with it. Feels very silky smooth. I honestly don't even know if I can bring this to a leather, but we're gonna try. We're definitely gonna try. We're not gonna give up. If I need to put some more cream, which I'm pretty sure I put way too damn much, we'll do that. Look at this. Come on. Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna be kind of tough, I think. This will come to a leather. I think my brush needs a little bit more moisture in there. All right, all right. If you tried this stuff, let me know in the comments below. All right, you know what? All right, I think it's coming out, dude. I think it's coming out, bro. Might have to get into this shave cave status. If you're not subscribed to that guy, he is awesome, dude. Go subscribe to him because he gets into those lathers like a freaking beast. He is super entertaining to watch. Check that guy out. Shave cave. 
I'll link them. this later on. See what it takes to get the best leather possible. I have no experience with it, like I've said. Hmm. Maybe this is the best we're gonna get. I guess it's not really like a voluminous lather. Let me see. this to just fluff up a bit. It does feel nice though. The scent, mm, I know it's unscented, but not to me. It doesn't smell that great, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's not unscented, I wouldn't say that it doesn't have a scent. It's, it just doesn't smell good to me, you know, to my nose. You know, scent is subjective, so. So don't hate if this is like your favorite fucking soap. You know? Everybody's nose is different. You guys know that. One man's trash is another person's treasure. Probably shouldn't have said that, but <laughs> oh well. That's my holder right there. Pretty cool, huh? Maybe I'll get a tripod one day. I think I bought this off of um, Amazon for like I don't know, 18 bucks or something. I'll upgrade later on, but it seems to work. There we go, check it out. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's the best we're gonna get. It's it's nice, let's see. Slick. Let's go. With this damn thing, and let's start. I like to go against the grain every now and then. I might just do one pass. Have about two and a half days of growth. Super slick. Super slick. Not bad. Not bad. Just don't like the scent. Like, like mothballs or something. I'm gonna trigger a lot of people. Sorry, guys. These are just my opinions, you know? Everybody's entitled to their own. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, I believe. This blade, this razor, I'm sorry, is super mild. Not really my thing. But it's giving me a nice close shave. Can't go wrong with these vintage razors. Not a fan, but can't go wrong with them. They get fantastic shaves. I do have a fat boy, maybe that'll be my next razor I use on another video. You know I had to get the fat boy. It's like the freaking holy grail. So yeah, when I started that's that's what I got. I got the fat boy. And all kinds of vintage razors and then when I started getting more into it and basically seeing what this 
hobby had to offer. Then I started getting into the more expensive crap. And I'm not even going to say how much I've spent on that because it's been embarrassing. <laughs> but hey, this hobby is awesome. I really do enjoy it. I mean, shit, I'm making videos now. I never, not in a fucking million years, thought that I would be making videos. I swear to God. Not in a million damn years. And here I am, shaving for you fine gentlemen. Appreciate you guys watching though, seriously. It means a lot to me. Thank you to all the new subscribers as well. Haven't really uh, mentioned you guys. Sorry about that, I just forget. But, honestly, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, pass two. Just put all that cream on there. Alright, let's make this one a quick one. So we can get this video over with. I hope you guys have a great day ahead of you guys. <laughs> you may not be doing much, just sitting on your couches watching movies, but hey, movies are nice every now and then. Maybe go outside, run a few laps or something, do a few push ups. Watch Melly Mel, man. He has a lot of fitness tips on his channel. It's really great. He's actually inspired me to do a few push ups every single day. And you know what? It's been getting a lot easier since I've been doing it. At first, I was just like struggling, like, oh my god, I cannot fucking do this. Like, literally, after the second one, I was just collapsing. But now, um, not much of an improvement, but I'm able to do like 10, like no problem. You know, hopefully later it's going to be 20, then 30, then boom, I'm fucking thin as hell and ripped. Uh, maybe I'll change my name to the Dude of Buffness or something. That'd be pretty sick. I feel like I'm going to cut myself right here. Well, guess not. All right. That was it, dudes. That's it for the shave right here. All right. Let me wet the face. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Not a BBS, but a very good shave. You don't need all this really expensive shit. It's nice to have. Yes, very, very nice to have. But if you just want to get into wet shaving, you really don't need very expensive stuff. You know, you really don't, but I can pretty much guarantee that you might fall into that rabbit hole and uh, it's pretty hard to climb your way out of that one, guys. I mean, trust me, I'm, I'm in there with all you fine gents. All right, Perrazzo, let's do this. First time use of this. Mmm. Oh man. Now I know why this is legendary. That is. Oh, that is nice. Sandalwood. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go in. Let's go into that again, guys. Let's put a lot in it. That was a nice shave, you know? That was really good. I really enjoyed it. Will I be using that cream again? Probably not, maybe, who knows? Maybe I'll take it like, if I'm ever traveling or something, but will I use it again? No. Did it give me a great shave? Yes. That's the point of this whole challenge, budget shaving. Just showing that you can have a good shave with budget-friendly items. So, yeah, you can. And that Perrazzo, highly suggest that you get that. Will I be using this again? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's, I love it. And, send of the day, boom, Old Spice. Oh man, I think I'm growing some more chest hair. Ah, oh, smells good. All right, we're done.
tag. Mm, I'm gonna tag Shave Cave. Boom. Hopefully you do that, brother. Go ahead. Give me your best shot. I know you can do it. Shave Cave, you're tagged. And Shave Girl. Deuces, guys. Due to shaving, out.